What's up, Rockstar? I am Coach Amanda with Team Betty Rocker. I am back with you for another awesome full body workout. We're gonna get full body shred today. So we're gonna work with high intensity movements, we're gonna work with strength movements, and we're gonna get a great workout. So I'm so excited that you're here with me to do that. Um, for starters, all you're gonna need is weighted objects if you have them. If you do not, you can still do this workout just fine. I'm gonna be using dumbbells, so whether you have dumbbells or weighted objects like water bottles or books or laundry detergent, anything you have that creates resistance, you can use that. So go ahead and grab that now. Um, we are gonna just get right on into our movements today. So we're gonna start with a down dog to a side crunch. So you're gonna come down into a tabletop position. If you have an elevated surface and you'd like to modify this for starters, you're gonna hop up on the outs on that elevated surface and you're gonna push back to a down dog. So the down dog, we're just putting our ears between our elbows. We're gonna come up to that tall plank and we're gonna drive our knee up. And then right back down to that down dog position. And then on the other side, really driving that knee to our elbow. Really coming in, crunching those obliques back and forth. If you're doing this on the ground, that's great. Just be in that tall plank position. You want your shoulders to be stacked over top of your hands when you are in that tall plank position. Active shoulders, active core here, back and forth. Awesome work, really crunch that elbow. We're gonna go eight to 12 here. Give me two to three more on each side. Great work. Really push back into that down dog position. Give me one last one here. Crunch that knee to elbow and relax, go ahead and step on up. Awesome, my shoulders are on fire, my core is lighting up. We are going to up the intensity here by doing some sumo squats to high pulse. So bend your knees, pick up those weighted objects if you're using them. And we're gonna go in a wide sumo stance. So a normal squat is about shoulder width distance. I want your heels even further than that. Toes pointing out and knees pulling, externally rotating, opening up those hips. And we're going to squat down really low into that sumo squat. And when we come up, we're gonna do a high pull row, squeezing those glutes and driving those arms all the way up. We're leading with our elbows. So squat down low, chest is up tall, and then drive up with those elbows. Squat down low and up. Awesome work, that's four. We're gonna go eight to 12 here. Awesome job. Really get low in that. Our knees are tracking our toes. Awesome work. If this is too much for you and you wanna just use one dumbbell or one weighted object, that is great. Do what works for you. Work within your limits, even if you're using soup cans. This is great just to get that opening in that chest and getting deep in that squat. Great work, one more. And rest. Awesome job, set those weighted objects to the side. We're gonna get back into that down dog position. I'm gonna do this on the floor this time. If you're still taking the elevated variation, that's great. So get in that tall plank position. We're gonna shoot our hips back, ears between our elbows, and then tall plank, drive that knee up. Great job. Really sinking back, pressing off the ground, driving those shoulders back, and then really driving that knee all the way into our elbow crunching those obliques. Great work. We're working our core here, our shoulders, our abs, or our obliques, the whole thing. Really active in our shoulders, even when we're not, even when we're in that tall plank, we're pressing off of the ground. Great work. Come on, we got this. Last two on each side here. We got two, good. One more on each side, crunch those abs, crunch them. Last one, and rest. Awesome work, we're gonna get back into that squat to high pull row. So bend those knees, pick up those objects, wide stance. So I really want you to focus on pulling those knees out, tracking our toes, and driving through our heels. We're gonna squat down really deep, hold that for a second, and then power up and drive those elbows up to the sky. So slow and controlled in that squat, and then a powerful press up, and pulling with those elbows. Awesome work. From the side, 
my booty is shooting back, heels are planted, and engage that blueberry spine, suck that belly button in, last two, great work, last one, and rest. Whew. My heart rate is up there. Okay, down dog to side crunch. Last round here, so give it all you got. That tall plank position. When you're ready, we're gonna push back and come forward, drive that knee to elbow. Drive that knee to elbow. Awesome work. When you come up to that tall plank, make sure your hips aren't sinking super low. We still have the active core. We're not letting our hips sink towards the ground. We're in that tall plank the whole time. Awesome work. My shoulders are shaking. My core is active. Great job. Keep it up. We have got this. This is our last round of this. Keep it up. We're going to have abs and shoulders of steel after this. Good work. Give me last two on either side. One. Last one on each side. Really crunch that elbow. Last one. And rest. Awesome work. We are done with those. Last round of sumo squat to high pull. Grab those objects. Get in that really wide sumo position. Shoulder blades back and down, active core. And we're gonna squat and pull up with those elbows. Squat and up with our elbows. Again from the side. We're not coming up on our heels or up on our toes. And those weighted objects are coming just right up, skimming our body almost, coming straight up. Squeeze those glutes at the top. Awesome job. Oh my gosh. Give you last four. Keep it up, watch that form. Watch the knees tracking your toes. Last one. Awesome job. You can set those down. Grab a sip of water if you need it. Okay. So for this movement, we're gonna do some more high intensity. Get our heart rate up if it's not already. <laughs> We're gonna do jumping cross cross squats and prisoner squats to tricep extensions. So, for starters, just we're just gonna do a jumping cross cross squat, but we'll start low intensity. So, we're gonna squat, knee to elbow, knee to elbow, squat, knee to elbow, knee to elbow. If you wanna go ahead and get right into that advanced movement, you can throw in a jump squat and then a cross cross. But I wanna just make sure. We're getting nice and warm. Great work. We're going 30 seconds for this first one. Awesome work. Okay, I think we can do two more after this. One, cross, cross, squat, cross, cross. Awesome work. Okay, so for this next one, we're gonna do a prisoner squat to overhead tricep extension. If you have just one weighted object, I'll have you grab that. I'm just holding it in one hand by the top of the dumbbell. Same thing with a water bottle, you can hold it in both hands. And just right over top of your head, elbows by your ears, just like this. From here, we're going to kneel down to this prisoner position. From here, we're gonna step right back up, right foot, left foot stand, and then give me a tricep extension at the top. Alternate that starting leg. Tricep extension, good. And right back down. So right starts, left starts, right starts, just back and forth. Great work. Plant that heel, press up, engage that glute. If this is too much for you, and you feel like your chest is coming forward, I want you to drop that weight and maybe hold on to a chair or the wall to help you get up. I would rather you work on this leg part and add in the triceps later on, than compromise your form just to get this movement done. Back and forth. Okay, give me one more on each leg. Step up, use that glute, fire from your glute, press up and 
return. Awesome work. Okay, are we ready for some high intensity? We're gonna throw a jump squat in there. If you're just gonna take the low impact version, just keep doing the thing we did in round one, where you're just squatting cross cross, okay? I'm gonna up my intensity. I'm a little nervous, but we got this, ready? Squat, jump, cross, cross. Squat, jump, cross, cross. Awesome job. We're still planting our heels. We're still powering through our posterior chain, crunching those abs. Drive that knee all the way up, similar to what we did in that down dog. To side crunch, keep it up. We're gonna go a little longer in the time. 30 to 45 seconds. We just hit 30. If you wanna keep going, I invite you to do that. Really power through, this is your workout. Awesome work, three, two, one. Give me one last squat and rest. Awesome job. Whew. Okay, so now that we're all warm, let's pick up that weighted object. First in prisoner squats, we're really gonna blow out our legs today. Getting strong in this workout. So from this, from this direction, come down to that kneeling position and whatever leg you're gonna start with, we're gonna step up, step up, tricep extension, and then back down. Switch that starting leg and tricep extension. Remember to keep blueberry spine during this whole thing. I don't wanna see arched backs. Our core is active. Awesome job. Whew. Okay, this is a really great time to control that breathing, especially when you're overhead like this. It's easy to get out of breath even more because you're not breathing properly. So really focus on that breath. We can slow our breathing down even while we're in movement. Great work. Okay, one more on each leg. So our right's gonna start, we're gonna press up, powering through that glute, and our left leg, press up, tricep extension, and relax, oh my gosh. Whew. Okay, shake it out, get excited. This is our last round of this superset. Are we ready? Okay, whether you're doing low impact or high impact, let's get it. Squat, jump, cross, cross, squat. Let's start the time. Squat, jump, cross, cross. Great work. Maybe even try, maybe add in a double squat jump to cross, cross. This is your workout. Make it your own. Knees are tracking our toes. Heels are planted. Chest is up tall. And our core is engaged. Awesome job. We're shooting for 45 seconds this round. You can do it. You are strong. You are a rock star. And you're definitely stronger than you think you are. I wanna challenge you, keep going. We have 10 more seconds. Keep that intensity. Awesome work. Five, four, three, two, finish this one out. And rest. Awesome work, I'm gonna grab a sip of water. Okay, so big deep breath. Exhale, let's control that breathing on this round. Grab that weighted object for our last round of prisoner squats to tricep extension. Okay, come to that kneeling position. Right here before we even start, I want you to tuck that belly button in. Don't let that back arch. Blueberry spine and step up, step up. Tricep extension and back down. Awesome work. Again, really focus on the squat here. This tricep part is just a bonus. So if this is not a strength for you, I want you to drop the tricep extension and just do the squat. Awesome work. Whew. Holy legs, right? Awesome job. Okay, we're halfway there. Keep it up. Mind over matter here. You are strong enough to keep going. Yes, you are. Step up, step up, tricep extension. Check in with that core. When we start to get fatigued, 
Sometimes we compromise our form without even thinking about it. My triceps are burning just from holding this position. Okay, one more on each side. Great job, oh my gosh. We've got this last one. And rest, oh my triceps. <laughs> Great job, shake it out, grab some water if you need. Okay, last super set. Are we ready? We have push-ups and single leg step-ups. So push-ups, if you're doing this on an elevated surface or on the floor, that's fine. You can do a kneeling position. We're gonna go eight to 12 here, okay? So whenever you're ready, start in the elevated surface if you need it or on the ground. Shoulders stacked over our hands, belly button sucked in and press down. On a push-up, if you are only going halfway down, you're not really practicing full range of motion. So really try to get that chest all the way down. If you're on your kneeling position, same thing, chest comes all the way down, press back up. Pull your shoulders away from your ears. Shoulder blades are pulled down and back. Last two, awesome work. Last one, and rest. Whew, that is a hard movement coming out of those down dogs and those tricep extensions. So whatever modification you need to take, whether that's kneeling, incline, whatever you need to do, make it your workout. Okay, side step ups, or single leg step ups. We're gonna go eight to 12, okay? So if you have an elevated surface, if not, and you have nowhere to do this, you can do this on a step, you could do this on a pile of books, or just do squats, totally fine. You can also squat down to a chair like this, okay? So plant that foot, drive through that heel, and come to standing. Squeeze that glute at the top, we're not trying to hop off this foot that's on the ground. We're trying to really push ourselves up through this heel that's on the elevated surface. Our knees are still tracking our toes. You don't want to see your knee come in. Oh my gosh, the sweat is real right now. Can you see it through my gray shirt? <laughs> Great work. And also when you're coming down, try not to just fall. We're controlled on the way up and the way down. Last two. Whew, my booty. Last one. Great work. I'm gonna switch sides. I'm gonna move this over if I can actually do it. Okay, so on this side, same thing. Plant that foot and step. Great job. Slow and controlled on the way down. We're powering up through that glute. Slow and controlled on the way down. Awesome job. It helps if you focus on one point also, just to get that balance check. Awesome job. How's our booty? Do we feel our booties? If you feel this in your quad, I want you to really think about that posterior chain. When you think about a muscle, it helps that activation. Last one. Awesome job. Whew. Okay, moving that back. Back into our push-ups. What variation are you taking? I want you to take it with pride. Whether you're kneeling or on your toes, give it your best, your 100%. Chest is touching the ground each and every time. Are we ready? Shoulders stacked right over, or right over top of our wrists. And push up, chest touches the ground, press back up. Pull those shoulders away from your ears and come back up. Same thing if you're on your toes. Your hips are coming down with your chest and you're pressing back up. Awesome work. Come on ladies, I know. It hurts, I know we're fatigued, I'm hot, sweaty, but we are getting strong. Last two, press up with power and rest. Awesome work. So for these step ups, the second round of step ups, if you wanna change it up, if you wanna hit even more glutes, you can do it straight on like this, or you can do it that first initial way I showed you in round one. So same thing, eight to 12. This variation is just going to be stepping up. One, still squeezing that glute at the top. We're not locking out our knee, we're squeezing our glute, right? Powering through our heel. Our knee is not shooting super far over our toe. If you just have a crazy ankle mobility, your, your knee might shoot over a touch over your toe, 
but really plant that heel to make sure you're not putting undue pressure on that knee. You can hold onto a wall like me if you need to. Awesome work, oh my gosh, my glutes. <laughs> I feel them. Okay, last two here. One, squeeze that core still, and two. Awesome job, switch sides. So if you're doing that lateral step up, like first round, totally fine. And go, step up, squeeze that glute, and come back down slow and controlled. Awesome job. Great work. Another great time to control that breathing. Try not to be huffing and puffing. We are in control of our body, in control of our breath. And check in with that glute. How's our glute doing? Are we activating it? And are we activating our core? Give me two more. Awesome job. Last one. Oh my goodness. Holy booty. Okay. Last round of push-ups. I want you to give this your all. So if you can maybe get one on your toes or one on your knees and then move up to your elevated surface, really push that as long as you can keep good form, okay? So I'm gonna start on my toes, maybe drop down to my kneeling position. Okay, eight to 12 here, active core and press. Shoulders are away from our ears. Awesome work. That's five. Six. Awesome job. Keep that core tight. Take a modification if you need to. Don't just flail around to get the reps done. Last two. Last one. Press strong. And rest. Awesome work. Okay, last round of step ups. I personally like the lateral step ups. I like varying that a little bit. So I'm gonna go back to that round. And we're going to step up. Again, eight to 12 reps here on each side. Step up, squeeze that glute. We're not locking out our knee, remember? We're squeezing our glutes and our core, active, active core. When you squeeze your glutes, it keeps your lower back from arching and it helps you activate that core. So we're really intentional with these movements. Awesome work. Almost lost my balance there. Good. It helps me again to focus on a point to help my balance. Last two. Really squeeze that glute up there at the top for a second. Squeeze and relax. Awesome job. Next side, and then we're done. Finish strong. And step up. Good work. Squeeze the glute. I'm gonna say it till I'm blue in the face. It is so important. Great work. Woo. Halfway there. The sweat, ladies, is real. Are you with me on that? <laughs> okay, last three. Make these the best reps yet. Three, two, squeeze that glute. Come down slowly, last one. Squeeze and rest. Awesome work, give yourself a hand. Let me grab some water. Oh my gosh, that is such a good workout. I'm so glad it's done. To be completely honest with you, that was a challenge for me. I don't know if you are as sweaty as me or if you can see the sweat, but the sweat is real. Um, I love workouts like that that pair strength movements like a push-up or those tricep extensions, but also increases my heart rate and gets me sweating. I love combos like that, so I love this workout. Thank you for showing up and doing it with me and for working hard. I want you to tell yourself you're strong, you're capable, and you're a rock star because you're all of those things, and I don't want you to forget that. So thank you for showing up, working hard, doing this with me. Let me know what your favorite move was, what the most challenging move was for you. Um, I love hearing from you guys, so let me know. And thank you for showing up. I'll see you next time.